So we'll kind of go uh, on this beta track here, and um, what do you guys think about these betas being released on consoles? Now? Oopsies, my bad. <laughs> betas, betas being released on consoles? Yeah. What, what do you guys think about that? I mean, it's kind uh, of like a first time for this. I mean, I, I don't remember ever betas really being released. Well, I love it because it gave me the chance to play Overwatch, and right. I basically played it out for that entire week, and I didn't ever want to play it again. So I'm so glad. I did the it same came thing. Out in beta because like I was gonna get that game and it was gonna waste 60 bucks on it pretty much right I feel the same exact way Steve so I was like same I'm way so relieved because I was like this is definitely not the game for me like it's not the game that I thought it was gonna be for yeah much. Right, I did the same thing. So it, it's kind of nice because you get to see these games and experience them a little bit. Granted, yeah, there's going to be bugs eventually, and, and those should be worked out, and that's the whole point of the beta. But at least you get a feel for it if you want to buy it. So yeah, It's a test drive of a car before you buy it. Kind of thing. Exactly. I mean, like, I really like this whole beta experience. And, it, and it, like you were saying, it hasn't been around. Right. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't really remember it. I mean, beta has been around, but right. I re remember it being so like this past few months. It feels like every game that's been coming around has had a beta for it before it's been released. Well, the thing was, remember before it was like beta, you had to sign up for it, and then if you yeah. got accepted, you got accepted into play. That's you know right. I mean? That's that, how it was before. Now it's just like download it, never, it and go for it. And right, everybody exactly. that's got a PlayStation or a console or whatever it is, you have the freedom. You have the ability now to download that game, test it out, and try now, it out. Do you think that hinders their sales at all, or do you think that? I would like to see that, actually. I would like to see the facts behind that, whether it's, like, an increase or a decrease. I mean, are you, like, are you doing, like, so Battlefield, right? People that, Battlefield's been around for a while. People know what Battlefield's going to be about. Yeah. They're going to get the taste of it right now. There's nothing new to them about Battlefield. Where Overwatch was something that was going to be new, right? Right. And nobody knew what that experience was going to be like. So now Battlefield's like, I think that that's going to drive sales. Why do I think that's going to drive sales on something like Battlefield? Because who they're going to make the sales to already, they're the ones that are playing the beta, and they're probably loving it and craving it, and they're getting that addiction built, and then are going to be left with, like, two months of not being able to play it. And then when it comes out, they're going to be like, ah, oh, finally, I can grab yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know what I mean? It, now, they're not new buyers. Where, like, or, Overwatch is new buyers, I'm not sure how that one works out, right? Because a lot of people were, probably would have bought it. I would have bought it. <clears throat> you would have bought it. And probably other millions would have said, I would have bought it. Right. Yeah. And then they paid the beta and were like, wait, that's yeah. not out at all what I thought. And now, yeah. when, you get to, when you get to Overwatch 4, everybody yeah. in the gaming knows that what Overwatch is going to be. Right. right. So, you know what I mean? There's no, give me that. I don't, so, I don't know if Overwatch's beta hindered them. Or, like, improved sales for them, to be honest. I think it might have, I think it might have hindered them a little bit. But also, like, I know that, um, like, my, my, like, my bosses, my bosses' kids, they like the shooter games, but they don't like, like, them playing shooter games. Okay. But they'll let them play Overwatch because there's not, like, blood or anything like that. Yeah, like, so gore. Like, I think it's more of, like, a game, like, a little kid. It's like, a, like well, no, because it's, it's really super competitive. It like, is competitive. Right. But, like, it's kid it's, friendly. <laughs> it's kid friendly in the sense of like animated versus verse versus like war, bloody gory like the other shooters Real like Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and all that different stuff where it's definitely doesn't look. Like it's definitely more <laughs> like an yeah. animation, yeah. And I just wish it'd be more like. Yeah, I don't know. Like, so we're talking about the beta. Like, you guys remember anything? Any other betas? Like, like that? I mean, there, I just, like I can't remember any other ones. There was actually Destiny beta. Didn't we play uh, Destiny beta? We did play Destiny Beta. I yeah, did it came not. out Beta first before it came out. I, I did believe. play that, yeah. Well, um, I, I'm playing another Beta right now, of course. Um, that is, uh, oh, your Neo. Yeah, Neo. Yeah, that game is yeah. pretty cool. And you know what? You know what's great? I never even uh, even heard of this game, and I love these uh, playstyle games. And when I saw that, I was like, holy shit! So I was like, I never. I would have probably saw that on the shelves and been like, uh, it's probably like a De Destiny uh, Dynasty Warriors or something like that, and I just kind of passed over it. But I'm gonna buy that game now, so I think there. So that's like in a in a way like the Overwatch situation, but it worked in its favor. Right, yeah. right. So yeah. and I'm loving the game; it's great, um, and it's the kind of style that I like. So I, yeah, it's working in their favor. Another beta that we've all played that you guys don't even remember right now is Paragon. And that was actually an alpha. That was an alpha when we were playing. Yeah, it's play in beta, beta now. Yeah, it's, it's in actually in beta now. Right. It was an alpha before. I like that game. 
And actually, if that game was to be a buy game, which I don't think it's going to be, I think it's it going to be like a smite. It, you are going to have to buy it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty it's sure. It's going to be like smite. It is. It's six, 60 bucks. It's like 60 I bucks. Saw it, I saw it for like a pre-order, yeah. You have to pay really? 60 bucks for it, yeah. Yeah. Oh. They're going to go a little different with that then. I would... Would I buy it for 60? I'm not sure. I, I, I might. I, I mean... I don't well, know. Okay, so I like... You make it like a free-to-play kind of like I like league, the game a you know lot. I mean? But I think it's the same way like Steve was saying. It's like a MOBA style thing. Like yeah. I think it should be free to play. You buy to get your gems, like Smite or your, you know, what is it? Cards. There's you cards in there. You get cards. Well, well Paragon is cards, but he's talking know, about League. After, what, what is League again? I forget uh, what it was. MOBA. No gems. You buy gems in there. What do you buy? It's oh, it's money. points or something like that, right? It's like, like riot, riot points. points. Yeah. Riot points. Riot yeah. points. That's yeah. what it is. Like riot points. Gems for Smite or cards for uh, for Paragon. Paragon, I really like Paragon. It's a whole new concept of the MOBA. Right. I love that they released so this alpha. There was a. It is slow. Well, I think that they should probably have waited instead of the alpha. Maybe had thrown out with the beta because there was a lot of things when playing the alpha that kind of was making me like turned away from it at first for a while, and then now that they kind of got right, it's like I know everybody hears the plane. No, no, no. But. Uh, now that they got more right, I mean, I, I was still playing it through the alpha, but now that they got it more right, it's like it's it's so much better of a game to jump into now in the beta version. The well, games don't last like an hour freaking long. Some can, right. but most of them are lasting about 30, 35 minutes now because they've just like changed the health or the destruction of like the towers mm -hmm. and, uh, and a few other mechanics like speed. They give you another faster run now that you can do out of combat than what right. it was before. So there's been some changes to it. And, and uh, also with that being said, you know, they've updated characters and everything too. So, yeah. and I remember when I first started playing that game, on alpha, I was like, this is terrible. Like the overlay and stuff like that, like the menu and whatnot. And when they updated that, I was like, damn, this is looking good now. And for it to be only in beta and at the point it is right now, yeah, I really can imagine good. that finished yeah. product. So that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm like, you know what, I'll probably buy it because that finished product, if it's gonna get better than the beta right now, it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really good. I wanna see, you know, and I know it's in beta and it's just like, you know, Here's the thing, though. Battlefield's in beta, and they've got two different game modes we can try. You know, okay. like, we can do Conquest, and we can do Rush right now. Right, right. We don't got another game mode with Paragon yet, and I want to see what else are they going to do. Like, I know the big map now, but what other maps, what other game Well, that's probably what they're doing. They're probably yeah. showing you the yeah. best mode, because they don't want to show you the other well, modes. Well, of course. It's the, what do you call it? It's the Summoner's Rift. They're right. having you play versus the 3v3 map versus the uh, a room map versus any and all the other different stuff so it's like you only have that option now it's beta but like i just said battlefield has two different game modes you know and if i'm gonna buy it for sixty dollars i kind of do want to know like what other experiences are there gonna be because yeah i did like it but at the same time like there's i could play other moba i could play two other mobas right now for free right you yeah. know and i get paragon is different it has a whole another dimension and mechanic to it that that others don't like you can look up and down to the whole you know people could be on cliffs when they're attacking you which is awesome right but at the same time like i mean you're gonna have to make it a little bit better i think yeah. just that because you play smite because i'm gonna just play smite then. right exactly you know? if i want my moba fix i'll just do that yeah I mean, the exactly. graphics are a lot better but mm -hmm. it's just, I, I do like them way yeah. better yeah and at first, things were way unbalanced, so that's yeah. why they've been on it a lot. And that, and it, it's just the other mechanic that I don't really care for too much is that, like, if so, it's like wow in the sense that if people have played it for two, three years, they're gonna have a way better advantage than you are when you start off, right? And the way right. better advantage is because they built up a large card like collection. Yeah. Now, where the new guy's coming in, he's got no cards, and cards are like items, so it's like you get the shit of items versus being able to tap into all the awesome items, which is like in League and Smite, you have that that ability to tap into all those items immediately. It just costs gold to get there. Right. Yeah. Paragon does it differently. So that, for me, felt very unbalanced because yeah. when I jumped in, I was playing with people. Now, I get granted, it was alpha and beta. I was jumping in with people that were fucking 150 cards deep, and I've got 10 to choose from, and I'm like doing nothing to them. And they've got lifesteal stuff, and I'm not, I don't have anything lifesteal. I like barely plus, you know, damage to my stuff, you know? <laughs> and I'm spending a ton of money to get my, you know, 
to get my cards, to be able to build my character. And it felt like I was taking forever where these guys could just destroy me. It's like, why do I want to play this game when I'm just getting murdered and can't even try to get anywhere? Right. Um, that, I don't like that. I don't like that grind, that leap, that wow grind. You know well, what I mean? Like. Oh, of course. And and I mean, there's plenty of other know. betas out there too. You know, and yeah, the MOBAs uh, I think are good to be in beta, but you know, now having actual regular games going into beta to sit there and just test out to see what's going to happen, it kind of makes it better because then you know that the finished product is going to be a lot better too. So I, I'm, I'm liking the, the beta track. Um, I can start thinking of games that I actually want to buy and hopefully yeah. never have buyer's remorse again on a, on a game. You know? Yeah, that would be a really good thing because if they were releasing more <clears> like they're doing right now, I mean, a lot of people would feel absolutely secure in their purchases. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and not feel like, I'm not going to lie, uh, the, what do you call it, game? Um, I don't even know the name of it anymore. Fucking No Man's Sky. It's sure. like that 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 dropped off. They said in the first week it dropped ninety percent of its if its uh it its gaming population dropped ninety uh, percent. I didn't even buy it. First so, it's, three so, days. so it's probably pretty good. It didn't come out in beta then. <laughs> For them, because yeah. Because otherwise they would have ninety percent sales purchases. wouldn't have occurred. Yeah, yeah. You know what exactly. I mean, like so they probably did that for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's true. It's like it would better than like the Overwatch situation. Everybody, w I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe Overwatch is still doing exceptionally well. Yeah, a lot know. of people. I, well, yeah, because they're doing they're doing like um. I think it's the highest. Gameplay. Mm -hmm. doing, it's like, one of the highest. Gameplay. I think it's one of the highest counts of pop gaming population right now. To be yeah. honest, really, really. Overwatch. Hmm. I'm not. Don't quote me on it, but I, last article I had read a while back was saying that it was one of the highest. I'll see so you if you're like, wrong. Maybe they, obviously it's got some people that like it. You know, like. It's true. Some people do like it. Just for me, I guess I was expecting it to be a Paragon. Yeah. Like a, a first-person shooter MOBA-style game, and it ended up not being anything like that. Now, I, so I was kind of like, all right, never mind. This is just Call of Duty with a different skin. So so is there any other betas or anything else that you guys are have seen out there or, or hear of mm -hmm. coming out? No. No, I'm trying to... Kind of not right now. Um, I like. I am liking though that PlayStation is offering those up on its like main um, page. All right. So it's keeping you informed about them. So it's not like because I'm not. I'm keeping up with like release dates of actual games. Mm -hmm. I don't know the actual. <clears throat> I don't know beta dates. But I think that's gonna probably start being a trend that we're gonna start doing. Is like looking up beta dates. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like when does that game come out on beta? I want to know when that game comes out on beta so I can play that first. I'm not even going to think about the release date. Who right. If I like it, then I'll look at the release date, you know? Yep. We'll start looking up beta dates now. There you all go. I know is I'm, all I know is I hope they have more betas for, like, zombie games that are coming out. Because, well, the, like, there, there are a few. Dying, like, Dying Light was, like, was like, you know what I mean? Just, like, a kind of a lit down. It was, it was fun for, like, what, two, three weeks when we played it? To be quite honest, we ruined the game. That's why. That's true. We did ruin the game yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it was great, but then when we, uh, that guy gave us all those weapons and stuff like that, and gave, yeah. I, we, we were one-shotting everything, you know, yeah. things that, like, should murder us. And I was just that like, okay, guy, now it's boring. That one guy was, uh, was, was Jordan, by the way. Remember it was Jordan and uh, Izzy? Oh, that's right. It was oh, Jordan it and was. Izzy. Yeah. I, I thought it was someone else for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jordan and Izzy. Yeah. The thing was is we were like we were like really deep, and all of a sudden like we got on one time, and they were like level thirty, and we're like, how the hell did you get level thirty? And like, oh, just come meet us. We'll show you. Yeah. And all of a sudden they were showing us like all these weapons that we got. And we're like, holy shit. And we like picked them all up. We're like, yeah. yeah. And we played it like for a week, and then we're like, okay, yeah, this we're is like, boring. <laughs> <laughs> Division though, did Division have a game, uh, a beta? I think it. It did. did. Yeah, it did. Oh, and it was a beta that you never played it though. I, I did. Don't think I, okay. Uh, I played the beta, and it actually, and that's a, one of the reasons why. Oh well, I mean, everyone else was getting the game too, so I wanted to play with everyone. But the beta was yeah. good on that. It, it, you got the sense of the game, um, and they also gave you the single player mode and the PVP mode, so you got like yeah. a taste of both. Well, Alan, I remember. Remember, he said he's like, Are you, "It's not a game that we're gonna be playing for like a week and then not uh, playing again." But we ended up playing it for like a good three months, didn't we? Three yeah. Four months? Uh, no, about yeah, about three months max. Yeah. I'd say, but that was still a good amount. That was totally worth it. Yeah. Sixty bucks, dude. Oh sure. yeah. Yeah. Like definitely. that was totally worth it. Sixty bucks. Yep. Got a lot of gameplay out of that. But I'm I'm excited about betas coming out and for games to allow for us gamers, like you were saying, Ian, one of your the best comments. 
gamer's remorse. Yeah. Like, gamer's buyer remorse. Like, yeah. hopefully that goes away because we have the ability to test out games before they come out. Dude, I've done that with one game before. And, and, and make it the norm. It in the same day. Like, like, make it the norm. Like, if you don't have a beta, we don't buy your game. Boom. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, like, every, like, No Man's Sky couldn't just slip by and get 90% of its sales without people have trying it first. You know what I mean? Like, so now it, like, holds game, game, uh, like, studios accountable for making really good quality games yeah Otherwise, but people aren't gonna buy their shit there, there's know? a slight downfall to that only because okay they're releasing a beta yeah it's gonna hurt their business so it could put a lot of places out like losing a bunch of money because think about that you release uh, this game for I don't free mind a bunch of pla- i don't mind places gaming studios losing a bunch of money and going out of business if they're creating shitty games that's very true too you know what i mean yeah. like then who cares like then get the weed, fuck out like yeah. you know weed out the shitty weed people. out the shit games then you know what i mean like that's just true. get really good games uh, you get to test them all out first now one thing is is that could hurt these guys though is putting out a beta before they're ready for a beta like oh, an big alpha time. that comes out really shitty and then nobody wants to go back to it because right like, oh. and the game actually yeah. turns out to be good it has to be like a battlefield data where it's like pretty much done like right. You know what I mean? Like, you're playing, you're like, damn, this is pretty on point. You know what I mean? Like, and then you go to get in the game, there's transitions really not that much. The, that When you talk about bugs, you're like, there's not many bugs. There's just a little <clears> here <throat> and there, but nothing big. You know, your games have to be at that level for people to be playing them and be like, okay, that's cool. Versus then to be like, really shitty beta, and then be like, nope, I'm done. Like, yep, exactly. <laughs> you know? And then come to find out the game is actually good, and you missed exactly. out on it. Yeah. Come out the fun, when the game finally comes out, because they just released an early beta, that it's actually awesome and insane, but you didn't get to experience that. So coming from a few old gamers, thumbs up, keep doing the betas.